Welcome to Patterson Education Fund's brief training on how to call your state representative. This video is to give you an idea of what to expect when calling to advocate for our children to help ensure all our children have a fair chance to succeed. Calling your representative is a helpful and proven advocacy tool that ensures your representatives hear your opinion on particular issues that he or she should support or oppose as representatives of your electoral district. Calling your representative is similar to voting in the sense that your call, like your ballot, represents your position on the issues. Unlike voting, you can call more than once within an election period. You can express your opinion before an important vote on education policy that affects your children's education. Quantity is as important as quality when it comes to making a call. Legislators and their staff keep track of which issues they get a lot of calls for. If there's a bill up for vote on school vouchers, for example, it is important to let them know how many people care about that issue. The legislators will be concerned their own popularity stay high in his constituents, knowing that an unhappy constituents will vote against him come election day. The next slide will provide a three-step process to help you plan your call, make your call, and how to follow up with the information you obtained on the call. Step 1. Plan for the call. Note your important points on your issues before you make the call. When you call, you want to make sure that you have a plan of what you're actually going to say. This way, you would be ready if you actually speak to a representative, but more than likely it will be a staff member who will either express the representative's stance or will get back to you if you request a follow-up call. PEF helps by letting you know when a call needs to be made when it comes to education policy issues by using CAPWIS. Please see the next video, Using CAPWIS for Action Alerts. Consider using your own story to show how our children would be affected by the issue you're calling for. Step 2. Make the call. Introduce yourself with name, where you live, and the bill number or issue of concern. This is important because it tells them who you are, why you are important, and which issue exactly you're talking about. If you leave this out, it may throw you off a bit since the representative will immediately ask you these questions to determine if they should listen to you or refer you to talk to someone else so they don't waste your time. Once he or she knows the issue and that your constituent, they will be all ears. Try to persuade, but especially listen to the representative's position on the issue if possible. This is important because then you can share with others how the official responds so that when others call, they can further reinforce the position on the matter, continuing to persuade as they discuss the issue. Always thank them at the end of the call. If they disagree with you, always try to leave the conversation politely because you will want the opportunity to call them again in the future on other issues and we don't want to leave with a negative impression. Because remember, our children need you to be as effective as possible when it comes to advocating for them. Finally, step three, follow up and report. Recruit others to make similar calls. Quantity is very important here. You want as many folks calling so that the representatives know how people feel about the issue not just one person. So consider asking a like-minded fellow to make a call. Report to others what the representatives said. As mentioned before, it's important you do this as it lets others know what they're up against and how supportive the representative is, making a better call experience for the next person. Call back a couple days later if you didn't connect with the representative, simply calling a couple days later and leaving another message is just as good as speaking to him or her. Having a couple of folks do this really helps the cause. Our representatives in the Senate and Assembly 
are often supportive of education policy that helps our public school system, but it is up to us to ensure that they are always supportive. Of course, leaving a message with the secretary is more likely to occur, but we do want you to be prepared if you get to talk with the representative. To follow up and report, you can use our Facebook page to post a follow-up report to the conversation that you had with your representative. There you can share the alert with your Facebook friends and keep up to date on information that will help you become a better advocate for our children. You can also keep others updated on your conversation using CapWiz. Check out our CapWiz and Facebook videos to learn more about these great advocacy tools. So consider it takes 10 minutes to prepare your notes. Remember that PEF helps to make it 5 minutes by already providing you with some key points to mention. 5 minutes on the phone maximum unless you get into a debate with the representative which is highly unlikely. 5 minutes to report your experience. So imagine this. 12 people take 5 minutes just once a week of actual phone conversation is equal to an hour of making our voice heard. Imagine if we had 60 people make calls. Spread the word. Your children need your voice. Thank you for taking the time to learn how to call your representative. Please feel free to call us with questions, comments, or concerns. Our number is 973-881-8914. Be informed, be empowered, and act for our children.